Hello everybody, welcome back to Monster Prom. I'm the Outback Owl. I'm Hot for Justice. I'm Yin and Young. I'm Chibi Young. And I'm NB Jitters. And we have a, a black spot on our record right now. We have a missing person on our who's a majigger. We need to find us a Miranda today. Uh, I don't know. Oh, just going with red? Yep. Okay. Gav is in control today. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no fooling around. <laughs> Alright, you're elected president for a day. What's the first law you pass? Uh, presidents don't pass laws, so this is a trick play that's smart. One dollar bill will now include a picture of me and the inscription beware of the true awesomeness. My presidency might last a day, but my fame will last forever. You can deduct taxes by writing some sonnets instead. Amount of tax is deducted and calculated based on the beauty of the sun. I feel like that's the... I don't know that there's anything we need here. Um... First one smarts. Second one is uh, fun, and I believe the third one is uh, creativity. Creative. Eh, so. whatever. Nothing we need for Miranda. No. Oh, ah, man. fuck. There was something we need Sorry. for Miranda. Sorry. Okay. Uh, put a curse on someone. Person fall in love with a wonderful person and blah blah blah. A lot of meet obnoxious people at parties. Can rely on effective curse prefer to take care of my enemies the old fashioned way. I don't know. Anyone got any ideas what these are what these might be? I'm just not volunteering any suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> because all of my instincts are like not working right now. Hmm. I say let's go with the first one. Oh. It's fine. Okay. I don't know what it is, but... Ah! Uh, you know, I rolled a dice and it was two. What did she need? Charming money. She... Uh... Oh, well. Okay, I think it's a pony. Yeah. It's always a pony. Okay. So now we gotta do work. Yep. yep. So, library first. Money and charm. Guarantee that, yeah, we can't guarantee that we can get to money at any Okay, money's point, not bad, so. but our charm is bad. Well, we do need to get it up there. I think we so should go we for charm first, because I think we need that more. Like, right mm. now. Well, that's class. That's smarts. We don't want that. You don't need to be smart yeah. to be a royal. <laughs> I mean, it helps. Eh, does it? All right, everything seems lost in Yeti. Who cares? Two charm. Later, you see Damien and Miranda chatting and being a nosy little bitch. You decided to insert yourself in their conversation. <laughs> I look, I look forward to this adventure. So, is there any uh, words? Is there anything more wonderful than getting insight into the lives of commoners? You better not pull that shit the whole time. My dads are lords of hell, you know. Technically, I'm royalty too. Oopsies. Are you though? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't be fighting words. Damien rolls his eyes and turns to you. Mrs. Panthera paired us up for our hands on homework assignment going on an adventure. Mm -hmm. Apparently I have some anger issues and a thirst for violence that I should be channeling into something productive. Hmm. Like a thirst for violence isn't productive in, a, in and of itself. And I'm supposed to work on being more independent. Which is so strange since I told my ladies and gentlemen in waiting to fix that for me last week. I wonder what sort of adventure might give us the wonderful experience we need to fix our perceived but obviously non-existent flaws. Wow. Hmm. Go on a deep sea quest to steal beautiful pearls from a scary kraken. Journey to a volcano to have a hot time at a fire method strip club. Um, I think the first one's kind of a Miranda option. Yeah, I mean, the the it's pretty is obvious. Option. But is it stats, or is it... The first one is usually a... 
parts option. But okay. it, it is could also have, based it on It could stats. be both. I don't know. Let's, but let's go, let's with, go with Miranda for now and then see where we end up. Okay. So bold. Hey, good call, actually. Miranda's already familiar with the ocean, so she can be a little more independent. I have absolutely no problems being independent. I know, because I pay my servants to tell me that. Mm. Mm. You're the one who has issues to be worked out, Damien. And an undersea adventure will be perfect. You can't fight fire with fire underwater. There's no fire there. Unless you go to a vent. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, and I can channel my violence into something productive like killing the Kraken. Normally I don't condone killing for killing, say... You don't? But this isn't for the sake of killing, it's for the sake of getting me pearls! The two of them dash off, cackling gleefully. <laughs> they get full marks on their assignment and brag about this to anyone who will listen. Yay! Miranda has made the pearl the focal point of a choker, and Damien looks dashing in his crack and tentacle hat. Mm. <laughs> you gain an appreciation yeah. for cephalopod-themed headgear, and you gain two smarts and one fun. <clears throat> Alrighty. I actually don't think I ever saw that one. Well, hey, it's a new event. That might help. Yeah. Alright, so... Go chill with Miranda and Damien again. Woo. Damn. No sooner have you sat down at Damien and Miranda's table than a haunting melody fills the air. Mm -hmm. It is a melody of cold northern peaks, of cloying sweetness, of a supple bovine teat. The song of... The Ice Cream Wizard! He's here! He's here! I'm gonna eat so much ice cream and then puke on someone I don't like. <laughs> oh, goodness! The Ice Cream Wizard only comes but once per solstice, during the hour of the Ascent Pancake. Ascendant Pancake? What? You see an old dude in a floppy blue hat, hat pushing a refrigerator cart with this shit magic painted on the side. Wow. <clears throat> Ugh, so many great options to choose. I don't think Should we've I seen get this. a mag- Should I get a magma bar? Brain destroyer? Chocolate boomstick? Chocolate boomstick. What what about fear of death? A frozen cobra? Berserker berry blitz? The wizard's frozen treats invariably turn me into a frog for some reason. Perhaps I simply have not tried the right one yet. But which to try? If only someone would suggest a solution to the to what is truly the most difficult problem I have ever faced. Try the sugar blasted prince lips. Prince Beat lips! Beat him up and take all his ice cream. Much as, as fun as that sounds, uh, yeah. But of course, I always have to find a prince to kiss me out of being a frog. Why not cut out the middleman? Prince lips? Gross. I've already got a pair of those attached to my face. Do you, though? <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> Here, where my mouth is. Wait, Damien, you're a prince? But you hide it so well. We've we already been over this. <laughs> <laughs> She's so dumb. Gee, thanks. But Miranda's not paying attention. She's already traded the ice cream wizard several gold ingots for a pair of sugar blasted prince lips. Oh my! I can taste the enchantment already. Miranda finishes the prince lips in three graphic smooches. Afterwards, her lips are pretty cold, and she invites you to help warm them up. They right. could, wouldn't they always be cold? She's a fish. <laughs> I mean, I would think so. Yeah. Okay. Should we go for money now? Or we'll see where the cat is. Money. In the auditorium. No problem. Send time in the library. Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't sound better now. Yeah, whatever, 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 you. Miranda summons you. It feels weird to be summoned, but you comply. You can't resist her merman goons. Okay. Thank you for coming, my dear. I finally decided to trust you with my most important aspiration. I am destined to be the queen of prom. I'm sorry, is this the a secret royal... ending? Yes. Yep. We don't want a secret ending. No! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what we also we haven't gotten this one yet, so... I am destined to be the queen of prom. The royal ascension is nigh. We must prepare. 
So we're not gonna get the thing that we came for today, but we'll get something else not. instead. Yep. Most of my competition is naive. They foolishly assume that Prom Queen is purely a ceremonial title. Well, not unless we fail this. Well, if we fail this, we're gonna lose stuff. And I don't Maybe. know that we could handle losing stuff. Except, it's okay. It's alright. Except Ursula Jr. She's proving to be quite a worthy rival. I respect that. Which is why we must destroy her reputation immediately. Any thoughts? Uh, let's convince everyone that she likes humans or fart joke. Uh, first one, because that's a charm thing, because it's convincing, and fart joke is fun. Whoa, hold up. Yes. No. It's not? What's... What's fart joke? Fun. Isn't it fun? Oh, yeah, then go with the first one, but I don't think it's... What's... What did you say the first one was? First one's charm, because it's convincing. It's smart. It is. Yeah, go with that. Okay. Doesn't take much to make someone look bad in this day and age. You, however, are monsters and went for a total overkill. You hire a Chinese hacker to plant 10 years of pro bono work rescuing human babies from lawnmowers in Ursula's name. At recess, Dr. Baby Love of the Baby Love Institute appears out of nowhere and presents her with a humanity, humanity award. Yes! This will, sh this will seriously harm her standing with the evil lawnmower creature contingent. So I guess we don't have to worry about stats now. That's an important yes, voting not. block. They're the ones who keep the schoolyard so tidy. You gain two boldness and one smarts. Ding dong. Um... Mm. I Do mean, we still want to keep trying more... for her stats? Yeah, we might Only... as well. Do you guys want to get Only... some, like, charm? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Mm. Okay. Or, you know what? Envy, do you want to play someone today? Do you want to take one of my characters? Uh, sure, I'll be, uh, I'll be Liam. All right. All right, everyone. Let's get ready for a rousing round of Middle Ages style shinty. Yes. Really? Just kidding. It's more do dodgeball. Liam, Miranda, you're the team captains. Miranda, you pick first. Oh, um. Well, uh, I guess red. Miranda pulls you aside and begins talking in a stage whisper that is probably definitely audible to our fellow students. It's always a great blow to my honor to lose at anything, even a foolish peasant sport like dodging balls. <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm not even sure that you're up to par, but you do seem like, but you do seem to, but you do seem like you spend a great deal of time examining our fellow students. Almost as if you're obsessively ranking them in your mind as to whom would be the best prom date or some such thing. What? What? Dude, yeah. what? Oh no. man, did Miranda call you out or what? What? Tell me, so that my royal reputation is not sullied by losing this paltry game, how best can I assess the skills of my fellow students and therefore lead my team to victory? Well... Great question. Time to take a royal stab at her heart. Great Not literally, question. though, by coming up with an equally great answer. Um, well, the answers could be loyalty is crucial. See who admires you most by having your classmates compose ballads about you, which sounds like a creativity thing. It's not about the students as individuals. Think about how they fit together, like an elegant set of silverware. That might be smarts. That does sound smart. Let's go with the second one, I think. Oh, the second one? Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Why, Red, that might just be the most brilliant suggestion you've ever made. I may not.
not be full, I may not fully be able to wrap my mind around the logic of simple peasants. Why would anyone want to be poor anyway? But I certainly know my way around a fine dining set. Vera is like a diamond bullion spoon. Expensive, elegant, deadly. Polly is a quadruple is quadruple chopsticks. Fun and impractical. <laughs> Damien, of of, co of course, is a meat triton. No further explanation needed, I trust. Okay. All right. <laughs> My opposing team captain, Liam, why, he's a fork. Yeah, he really is a fork. Outdated and obscure. Wow, <laughs> shade. <laughs> Okay. I feel like the fork is like one of the most common utensils out there. A commoner! See my point? And you, Red, you're the most rare and valuable utensil of all! Spork! Spork. <laughs> a heart spoon! Huh? Oh. Aw, that's so sweet. The spoon we use for scooping out the still beating hearts of our enemies! Not as sweet, but wow. nice to be thought of? Well, it's the thought that counts, and for Miranda, the thoughts of torture is very sweet. Okay. You gain two charm and one fun. Okay, I think we're good on charm. We can focus on money now. Yeah. Uh, not to mention ignorant knowledge of myrrh, silver, rare. Let's go hang with Miranda, psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You arrive at Scott and Miranda's table to find Scott happily chowing down while Miranda stares horrified at her tray. <gasps> As the fish sticks, isn't it? What's more, yeah. Miranda? Is it fish sticks. Fish Fucking sticks. fish sticks. Fish sticks. <laughs> air people. Fish sticks. Ah, air people. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Fish, fish stick stick. Friday. Okay, right. so haven't you heard Scott? Fish sticks are the worst for sports. Fish sticks contain absolutely no fish. They're made of plastic. First one. Oh no, not Nerdo flavor and ball drop and all. Those are two of the worst ones. The air people want me to be bad at sports? Of course they do, Scott. Air people hate sports and sportsmen. It's one of the most loathsome things about them. Aside from their feathers and their socialism. Well then, I'm not gonna eat any more fish sticks ever again. Fish stick Friday, more like fish stick. Fish stick. Bye day? Yeah. Man, I gotta get, go tell the rest of the wolf pack about this. Scott runs off to spread of the anti-air people propaganda and Randy gives you a most regal smile. Working our way through. Ah, uh, we can't go to the library. We only need to go to the library one more time, so... You know, we can get more charm or something, or uh, yeah, smarts or boldness. Maybe boldness. Let's, let's take a shit because, you know, this rap decided to shit on our plans. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's poetic. <laughs> Sue me. It's, a, it's like poetry. It, it, it rhymes. Yeah. Somebody puts a sack over your head and throws you in a car. You drive for hours before they let you out and take the sack off. It's clearly the first floor restroom. Miranda is sitting on a makeshift throne with while her goons jump in and out of the toilet. Oh. I'm glad you came. My prom queen campaign is moving on to the next stage. Your expertise is crucial for this part. Most of my inner circle are fish. Hardly helpful unless genetically engineered beyond recognition. Oh. Okay. Speaking of which, I need you to help me sneak a three-meter-tall, heavily-armed cod assassin named Tresca into the school. <laughs> no reason. But if you're friends with that singing harlot, Ariel, you'd best say your goodbyes. Oh, jeez. Mm. Wow, um, all right. Do nothing. Every student at our school is some kind of bizarre monster. We need a diversion. Release the Kraken. Um. Release the Kraken sounds like Bolton's to me. Yeah. Okay. Kraken, of course. The tiny terror of the third grade. Wow, okay. I'll send a word to the elementary school at once. Soon, Kraken, an eight-year-old octopus with a shitty attitude, runs onto campus and pulls all the fire alarms. Oh, no. 
witches melt, vampires are trapped by running water they can't cross, and Damien's will to live is extinguished. Oh no! Amidst the chaos, a Caribbean crab cries out for help. His mistress hangs on a hook in the middle of the hall. Ha! Looks like that little princess is no longer part of our world. She just Ooh. killed Ariel. <laughs> Miranda, oh, no. is this ruthless on land? You shudder to think what she's like under the sea. You gain two fun and one boldness. Oh, Disney puns. <laughs> Alrighty. Morning under time, week sea. three. Under the sea. It's turning into the Red Sea now. Mm. Let's get so that money. <laughs> uh, start kickers. Doo -doo. So Bye. much money. Miranda monologues about her problems to no one. She often does this. It's like she's accustomed to having a royal scribe following her everywhere she goes. Oh, whatever shall I do about my army? We haven't had a proper war in months, and the soldiers are becoming ever so anxious. I've tried sending servants to find them tummy rubs, and even putting extra leaves and sticks in their cages. But they just kill the servants with the sticks. I wonder why. I never, I never thought managing an entire branch of the military would be so challenging. How can I possibly keep my soldiers entertained? Put them out of the cages every once in a while. Divide them in yes. half and make them fight a practice war. A thousand pinatas. <laughs> um. I feel like it's not the second one. Yeah. That sounds like a fun thing, so yeah, let's go with the first one. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> ah, yes! A healthy live fire scrimmage! What? <laughs> you should have no trouble organizing such a thing. My lieutenants inform me that the soldiers bloody hate each other. And as an extra bonus, anyone who dies during the practice war will be guaranteed not to die in a real war. Logic. Okay, Darwinism, I suppose. That ought to reduce war casualties significantly. Um. It is as Father always says. Any pro any problem can be solved by dividing people into groups and making them kill each other. Huh. Mm. Great. I never understood it until now, but these are such wise words. Okay. Brenda switched <laughs> off to organize her little bloodbath. You gain two boldness and one smart. All right. We're so bold. We could go out with Damien if we want. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go hang out with this little psychopath again. Oh. With Polly in the coven. Ah. Okay. You arrive at your table to find the coven eating and Polly and Miranda screaming. We're under attack. Alarm. Alarm. Summon the guards. They're using their bizarro mind powers on me. The cute tall one is my less attractive evil twin. She uses shades, just like me. Clearly because of the evil twin thing. We're not attacking anyone. We're eating. What do you mean, less attractive? Lies! Subterfuge! Ah, I can feel them in my brain make me less cool and sexy. Ah! Every lunch hour. You can't allow your friends to be attacked. Quick, save them from this fiendish menace. Joust them in Miranda's honor. Drug their food. As much as I would like to see their food drugged, I think joust, joust. is the way to go. Yeah. You slap a colander on your head, a baking sheet on your chest, and a jousting lance under your arm. Yep, because we would have a jousting lance at the school. Of course we do. I mean, you don't. <laughs> Guess not. My hero, charge! Vanquish the invaders! Whoa, hey, we don't want any trouble. We'll just move over there. Yes, over there can deal with its own problems. Victory! The day is saved. Oh, valiantly fought noble champion. Whoa, do those three just disintegrate into a pile of turtles, or am I just super high? Um. You think that question pretty much answers itself. <gasps> Alright, last day. Let's see if we can get this ending that I've been told we have never gotten. Okay. What do you guys Money. want? Money? Money! 
libraries again. Gambling. Who cares? Money. You open your locker and a cloud of gas knocks you out. You come to your senses, plummeting towards Earth, rapidly approaching terminal velocity. You fall into the school's backyard into the hands of Miranda's biggest goon. Your classmates don't notice. It didn't work. None of them noticed your glorious fall. People are so used to spectacle at this school. This slow ascension is tiresome. I need some glorious act. A grand gesture to secure my throne. Can you think of something while I flay my salmon? Um... Okay. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? No more top. <laughs> Doc, we bring war. I will build a monument to you, your highness. It will rival the sun and the atrocities your family committed. Um, um, I think our boldness is very high right now, so uh, yes. I think war <laughs> is the way to go with this. War. <laughs> Remember West Side Story? Add guns and fire. Much guns. So fire. They had a gun, or was that a knife? I thought it was a knife. None of the students expected a war over prom, because who would? You quickly overcome their pathetic resistance. No, there was a gun at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Miranda stands victorious and raises her flag in front of the school. It is the cutest death's head you've ever seen. Few are left to be impressed by her victory, but those who are are definitely scared enough to vote for her. Father was right! Winning elections is easy! You gain three charm, which is good because you'll probably need that for the UN investigation. Mm. Monster Prom draws near. I think we should go by ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Do Miranda. Take her to prom. Of course I want to go to prom together, my Machiavellian fellow conspirator. I can't help but deeply value such a brilliant and scheming mind. It's smart to keep someone that can be so useful at palace intrigues close at hand. And we royalty are all about convenient and strategic marriage. Okay. So why shouldn't I be smart and strategic about prom dates, too? Okay. Also, you're like super cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> when prom night comes, you're ready to have the night of your lives. You practice your Ven Denise waltz and Miranda is deeply impressed. Even if the music is mostly electronic, you somehow Venice waltz the fuck out of it and everyone gathers in a circle to admire your prowess. It's a magical evening. Also, you execute some more plots and assassinations together just in case, which is a fantastic bonding experience. You and Miranda are selected as prom royalty. And you know it's a bit cheesy to say this, but Miranda's beauty is heightened by the del delicacy of her enemy's blood all over her body. It's truly been a magical evening. New secret okay. ending! Alright, I was wrong. Well, we finally took Most Miranda to the prom, it's just not the regular game. prom. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we'll unlock more when we, when we get the regular prom next time. So let's, uh, yeah, let's hit it. God, the class looks so small here. Three weeks, mm -hmm. monster prom, yada yada, things we constantly watch or see and do and feel. And, yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh. Okay, so this would clear up all of the Miranda endings, right? Well, other than, I guess, her sister's thing. This Her sister's thing, and also just regular prom, yeah. Yeah, so we need that. I'm trying to think of the secret endings we have had. We've had the fight and hair. We're missing Sun for Damien. We have Prom King and are missing Yaoi for Liam. We have Throne, Revenge, the Surf Party, and the Eel, but not Belin Belanda. Which is second term, mm -hmm. uh, but that's an item unlock, so don't yeah. worry about that right now. You uh, didn't get we the have... gift ending yet, right? No. Well, no, yeah, that was the um, the eel and the surf party. Yeah. We got the party. I meant and like the locker. Valerie ending or something like that. No, we didn't get. No, either that's of her it. Takes forever. We got the one. It takes forever to get that gift update ending for her, but maybe eventually. Cause... Because you got to get everything else before that. Which we and... did, but it's still totally random. 
Yeah. And it takes forever to get through it. We have the party and locket ending for Polly, and we're missing the Wilkinson. We got Coke and family for Scott, and we're missing the furry route. We have the cult and crime ending. Do we get Bloody Queen Vera? Yes, that's the one with the tampon. Okay. Was that the one that Gav got without us? No. That was Miranda's revenge ending. Okay. We're still missing that. We haven't found the floppy disk yet in the base game, but that might unlock here. Who knows? Uh, I'm confused as to what's going on here. They're watching a movie? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're at a movie theater watching Okay, we unlocked two new images and nothing else. I think we really just got to get that Miranda ending, and which we'll do next time. Bye-bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!